So what's going on guys, it's your boy YUSMB and today, and today, I am presenting you guys with another reaction video. As you guys can see stated on the title, oh yeah, we back at it again with the 5 and 1. Hello? But no man, on the realest note, yes we are back with the 5 and ones I haven't done this in a cool two weeks. So, we back, you feel me? I hope y'all doing enjoy today's video overall. If you do, make sure to drop a like, comment in the comment section box below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Share the video as well. And when I mean subscribe and share, I really mean that, man. Because I want 100k subscribers, I will be doing a huge giveaway to let y'all know how much y'all support means to me. And share the video because if y'all miss with my reactions, I know the next group of people will. Other than that, let's just dive right into this. Big bang, take a little back, I got that chunk on me. I ain't switch, you can't eat, I got that drum on me. A couple niggas switched up, some stay solid. You put your fucking hands on me, I'ma catch a body. Big bang, take a little back, I got that chunk on me. All right, so for the first one, we have uh, Gogo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mojo Jojo. No, <laughs> the songs that y'all have been brutally requesting for weeks, they're not MVs. Um, so this is going to be like an all lyric. 5 in 1, which I don't really think y'all care to be honest, as long as I'm reacting to the song that's all that matters um, so gang, you feel me? Plus I've never done this before like 5 in 1 all lyrics this is something totally different I've done a mixture of both but, but that was like on the EXO video so, the fact that I'm about to do all 5 of these, like all 5 lyric videos in 1, this is about to be something totally different, this is about to be something totally new Oh, so off the rip, they talking about money. You would have never thought that the title was Gogo, and then they're t they're talking about spending money and doing whatever the fuck with it. <laughs> but uh, what's it called, bro? Before I even looked up to see who was singing. This is why this is why I say that Jimmy is the Korean Jennifer Lopez cuz of shit like that. I look up and I notice it's Jimmy. I'm like, "Whoa, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking they added another member." <laughs> Cold as hell. We have 56 seconds. Let me see. Do y'all like hold on, man. Oh, and I heard this instrumental from somewhere. It's it's from like a BTS video. But I don't remember where I heard it from. I hate when, like, I heard parts of a, of a song from months ago. And then I come back and then I hear the full version. I'm like, bro, where, the hell I hear, where did I hear this from? And I don't remember. I still don't remember. But do y'all hear this? The greatest shit ever. <laughs> You're in my heart. You're in my heart. But yeah, man, let's let's go back. Let's take it back like three more seconds. Uh, 53. Here we go. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? What's up? Oh man, that ad lib though. Jen, I'm fucking dead. You funny as hell. Yep. Hello? Did, did y'all hear that ad lib? Ooh, ooh, dog. Oh my. 
Then we gotta take that whole thing back. Hold on, bro. We can't let that slide. We're not about to act like that did not just happen. Did y'all hear them sexy ass ad libs? And y'all, y'all see how the, y'all see how they, they fucking around with YOLO. Like, they all hitting different flows for YOLO. That shit is so fucking cold, bro. And then from the last one I reacted to, Bepsay with Jungkook, bro. That man, that man did some wonderful shit. As y'all see, he kind of switched up the, the he, he kind of switched it up. Everybody else was like, YOLO, YOLO, yo. And then he was like, where my money, yeah? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like how I like how he be switching that shit. And then he be doing it so cold. He know exactly what he doing when he hop on the beat. That shit be cold as fuck. Like. Did you really just say that? <laughs> RM goofy as hell. If you get scared and say you're saving, it becomes poop, so rub it all around. That's nasty. That's nasty. What you that that what you just said, like the, the word play of it, that was nasty, and then that that was nasty. <laughs> Ugh. Imagine smearing poop around, bro. That is disgusting. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Don't imagine that in your head. I, I, if you're eating right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bitch, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Bro, where my phone at? Let me see. I'm about to download that. Um, is it on iTunes? Go, go. Hell yeah. Can y'all hear that? I'm on FaceTime right now. So, you know, I don't know if I could really hear it. Y'all probably wondering, like, why you with somebody? Why you on FaceTime making a video? Listen. I can't answer that. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm about to add that to my playlist. Oh, oh, okay. I was about to say because it wouldn't, it wouldn't add on to my library, but it downloaded. That wouldn't make any sense. Like, what's wrong with my phone? But yeah, that is officially on my playlist. Ten out of ten. That shit was dope as hell. That shit got me in my mood. I was turnt. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? My headphones almost came off. Y'all saw that? Them bitches went all the way right here like these. But we back. You feel me? Ooh, I'm ready for the next one. Let, let's get it. All right. So for the next one, we got Ann Penman. Ann Penman. I had reacted to it live. And I told y'all that I wanted to react to the official audio because that's where the real heat at. That's where you hear all the vocals, etc., etc. Like, you can really feel it, you know? So... And then I thought y'all wanted me to react. Y'all was actually surprised how I didn't react to this yet. Guys, I've only been reacting to... I don't... Like, literally, I've only been reacting to BTS for a month. It literally st still says a month on my first ever reaction to BTS. Like, yeah, guys. It's, it's literally only been a month. Y'all probably... By, by me knowing so much 
of what I know now and, you know, proceeding to, you know, more groups and stuff like that, y'all, y'all probably would think that I've been doing this for like four to five months. People been thinking that I've been doing this for a half a year already. Just about like my reactions. But no, man, I, I, it's only been a month. Just imagine if it was a year though, right? I'll be a whole BTS freak. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's, let's get it popping. The whole gang gang in this bitch. It's like the last one. It's about to be turnt. What are you talking about? Honestly, in the beginning, I liked how J-Hope basically, like, said, hey, I know I'm not perfect, and I know I don't have this, this, and this like everybody else, but I don't give a fuck, you feel me? And that is, I saw something, I saw something on my phone, my bad, <laughs> and honestly, that's, that's some real, that's, that's some real shit, you know what I'm saying, that. That takes a lot of balls to say that because for some reason people feel as if they need to flaunt what they have um, in order for people to like them. And I don't really understand what's the point of that. Uh, you would rather have somebody be around just because you have all these things rather than being around just because of your personality. You know, that's just, that's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the fact that my boy J-Hope, J-Sprite, you know what I'm saying? Hey guys, can we get this trending? J Sprite, like I'm su like literally that is the best nickname ever. I don't under this this would be trending right now in all types of BTS comment sections and everything. I don't know I don't I don't know what a J Hope I know a J Sprite, <laughs> but um yeah man, like I said man it, it this that was really that was a very amazing confidence booster. To say that. And my boy Jay Sprite, he is very he's very humble. They're all very humble, but J Hope he he really sticks it on you like, yeah man, I don't care about this. I know I don't have this, this, and this, but I mean I'm still me. I'm still a goat, you know what I'm saying? That shit dope. That shit is dope. Nigga. <laughs> They saying some real ass shit. Really though. And um so y'all really want me to say that with y'all? Okay. I was about to say it, then you said turn it up. <laughs> Never mind. Mm. 
that's too long. And that's why I say that they have so much talent and they're so great at what they do. Because they could do something like that. They could hop like they could hop off topic without it being off topic and then come back into the topic. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit dope as hell. Overall it's about hero, right? But they're they're using all these different synonyms and word plays to make it seem like it's something different and then they come back into it being reality that is about a hero. That shit is so dope. Jimin, is that you in the background hitting that sexy ass ad lib? What the fuck? Oh, I want to hit it, but I, I ain't gonna sound right. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, on on the highest note, on the highest note, all I need is three minutes of Jim and ad libs, and I'll be satisfied. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'll be good. That shit was beautiful as hell. I love his singing ad libs. That should be so fucking cold, bro. Like, I ain't never hear no shit like that before in my life. And the fact that when I first got introduced to BTS and he said that he didn't like his voice, that shit pissed me off. I'm like, what do you mean? That shit is amazing. It's like the same type of music that they produce is how they are in real life. And that's not what you see uh, nowadays. A lot of people, they make music about something else and then in person, they're not even nothing like that or in interviews. I hate when it's like that, man. They're 100% real and you can't hate them for that. They're great, you know? But yeah, man, 10 out of 10. Let's dive into the third one. So for the next one, oh, we got 21st Century Girls. Oh, man, my back hurt. Uh, Jimin, I don't, I don't know what to say about your face right now and that apple. The apple must be good as hell. You really chomping on that bitch. Let me have some. Uh, no, okay, you feel me? That's cool with me. But um. Yeah. You can tell this about to be some heat. Just look at all their faces. <laughs> Especially Jimmy's. He's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He in this bitch.
should have figured that this was for the women. Cause don't don't tell nobody this. I was about to put my hands up. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um. I mean, yeah. I mean, it. it, it well, the song is self uh, self explanatory. You know, like. The 21st century girls are strong. You know, you are enough. You're okay. You're perfect just the way you are. So keep it that way. Don't let nobody tell you what you are and what you aren't. I remember I said this like a few weeks ago, but I love the fact that they make songs dedicated to women because, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's cool, you know, because there's not a lot of, there's not like literally you don't see a lot of songs where the dudes respect women you know they always be like oh yeah this bitch gonna do this for me and, and then, you know what i'm saying it's just that shit disgusting to say bro every woman out here is a queen um i don't know it's just the fact that there's this this century like this generation does downplay and degrade women and, and for what though you know this is this is why women have their problems or they don't trust men because, you know, they don't, because of, you know, because of men out here that be doing shit like that. That ain't cool. 100% respect for this. 120% respect for this. Like, gotta give him applause for this. This is really nice. The dudes that want to show this to that girl they can you see i love when they do that man they just be squeezing shit in there at the perfect times it, it... oh man this is great <laughs> I see you, Jung. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Did y'all know after a while my back starts to hurt? That's why I be that's why I be sitting back like this. <sighs> yes, I'm 19 with back problems. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, y'all probably are so surprised that I just said I was 19. Some of y'all be thinking I'm like 25. But anyway, yeah. Oh yeah, that was um, that was dope. That was really, really dope. Like I said, y'all already know um, what made it stand out for me, what I thought about it overall. You know, they they real life made a whole song dedicated to women, bro. How are they doing this? This is why I say that they aliens. This is exactly why. Because it's shit like this. 
No human on this planet could be doing some shit like this. I'm getting upset. How much you in the bet if you take Aaron face off? He look like Roger from uh, American Dad. He's a, I swear he's an alien, bro. They know how to do all type of shit. I bet I bet they could fly. That's why they made a song about heroes. They're giving us subliminals. They can fly. <laughs> but yeah, man. Bro, what am I talking about? <laughs> let's, let's just dive right into the next one. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, so for the next one, we got Seesaw by my boy Sugar, a.k.a. August D, a.k.a. Man Yugi, a.k.a. The GOAT. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Alright. Um, just by the way his face look, I feel like this is going to be a, one of them sad songs. Um, so let me just get prepared for it. But if it's, if it's not... Well... Either way it goes, this music slap regardless if it's sad or if it's uh you know happy happy, you know so yeah man let's let's see what we cook in the pot. This is a very very long song so I, there's no way that this this wouldn't be anything deep. So I'm not like I said man I'm just waiting for it. Seventeen seconds in. I already knew what I was getting into. <laughs> Alright I feel where he's I feel where he coming from. Um Your relationships get like that. You know, in the beginning y'all are happy, happy, lovey, lovey, love birds. Um, y'all fall in love, y'all in love with each other. And then after a while y'all just get tired of each other from repeated arguments and the the vibe and the sauce not it the, the drip not there no more. You know what I'm saying? The spark isn't there. And then it just becomes toxic. It starts to become toxic. And it's like, damn, the one that you really love, that you in love with, now you can't even stand to look at him. Um, that's a hard pill to swallow. To be honest, I think, I don't know what's worse, getting cheated on or feeling this way. I think it's the same. Because when you feeling like this, it feels like your heart got cheated on. Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I can feel this on so many levels. Um, even though I'm almost in like a two-year relationship. You know, I've had past relationships. And um, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? I'm really feeling this song, though. This shit deep. This is, I, 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 see, that's why I said I needed to get ready. I knew I knew I was coming in for a treat. Look, cause look at his face and the song "Long as Hell." You just knew what it was. You you didn't really know what it was about, but you knew it was something deep. This is really hitting home for me, man. This is getting me in my feelings. I ain't come here for this, <laughs> you know. I, <laughs> we over here bobbing our heads, getting lit. I'm about to break the chair and shit. My damn headphones about to fall off, and then. Now I'm about to start crying. That's tough. Did you never too much? Could you never put a gold bomb on this? 
서로 나쁜 새끼는 되게 쉽게 애매한 책임 전가 예약 사오게 지친 만큼 지쳐서 때려 분명히 됐네 이런 병행을 바란 건 아닌데 처음에는 누가 더 무거운지 자랑하면 서로를 바라보며 웃지 이제는 누가 무거운지를 두고 경쟁을 하게 되었네 들여다온 말 없이 누군가는 결국 이곳에서 내려야 끝이 날 듯하니 가식 섞인 서로를 위한 한쪽 나와는 말고 이젠 결정해야 돼 서로 마음이 없다면 서로 생각 안 했다면 우리가 이리도 질질 끌었을까 이제 마음이 없다면 이 시선 위는 위험 해 위험 해낼 생각 더는 말고 Alright 반복된 시스키 이제서야 끝을 내버려 해 Alright 지겹던 시스키 yeah bro when you really love somebody like when you really have that feeling for them it's very hard to let go like like literally um because y'all been together for so long and it's so hard to cut them out of your life yeah man when you when you've been with somebody for so long that shit is so hard to do like because you're so attached to them by now, even if it's toxic or not, or you have no feelings for them, y'all still as one. Um, and it makes it worse when you know you can't fix it. Or, you know, you can fix it, but you just don't want to, because you're afraid. <sighs> Man. Put up, nigga, on the knee, she's a way to go to. Put up, put up, nigga, up the chunk, make good the chunk. Put up, put up, nigga, on the nation's a way to go to. Put up, put up, nigga, on the nation's a way to go to. Alright, I'm not the shit's good. You just saw your good turn and go there. Alright, she got the shit's good. You can go and you'll get some made out, yeah. Sugar, is that you singing, bro? Hit them nose down, my guy. Hold up, hold up, nigga, I'm the nation, so be the gutter. Hold up, hold up, nigga, I'm the nation, so be the gutter. I take you to the candy shop. But, um... That just got me in my feelings. Whew. Damn. That was some real ass shit he was speaking. Maybe I should have reacted to this at the end. Because now my feelings about to be all over the place. I don't know how this last song is going to be. I mean, if it's a sad song, if it's, if it's a deep song, I'll be okay. But if it's a hype song... I wouldn't even know how to feel. Like, I'm sad, and then I'm like, oh, shit, okay. <laughs> Maybe this might cheer me back up so the outro might be good. But, um, <laughs> yeah, man. Sugar, that was really nice, bro. 10 out of 10. Um, I loved every single bit of it. You said a lot of real shit. And you just can't get past something like that. Uh, we already know that Sugar is the emotional one in the group, so of course we're gonna see him make these songs a ton. Um, but you know, is he's not? You know, the thing, the, the greatest thing, the greatest like value of him is that he's not like always like this. Um, you know, he's very versatile. He has that hype lit Sugar, and then you know he got the 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 press one, and then he has the deep one. You know, he has like three different traits. That's what makes him so unique and special. Um, 
like I said, every member has, every member of this group has their own traits, and, and they have multiple at that. They're not the same people. Um, that's what, that's why their music is so damn good. And, you know, they, if they ever disband, and I hope they, they don't, because I heard that they thought about disbanding this year. That would fuck with a lot of people's emotions. That would, like, that would end a lot of people. So, that just, honestly, that break, that might break the internet. You know what I'm saying? That would just change the entire world if that happened. But, yeah, man. So, keep doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? This this was amazing. Um, You really hit home for me. I really felt everything you were saying. I felt this in the heart. And I'm going to take this in. But, yeah, man. Uh, other than that, let's just uh, dive right into the next one. All right, for the next one, we got August D featuring Jimin, Tony Montana. This is a great collab. This is a great collab. Like, this is a really good ass. Damn, this collab is fucking. Damn, this collab is really fucking good. Like, I gotta um I gotta get prepared for this. So we got the the singing the singing god and the rapping god. Now don't get it twisted. Rap Monster is a legend. Ah, you feel me so Oh man, this is about to be some heat. I want the money to chase me, but I hope I don't become the monster chasing only money. That's the realest shit I ever wrote. The one that, that did the uh, lyrics, they didn't spell world right. <laughs> Y'all see that? World. World. How you spell it right the first the first time, but didn't do it on the second? That's weird. <laughs> Spelled it right the first time, but then do it on the second time. It's the same sentence. Wow, that's something totally different. Jimmy came on this bit singing and rapping. I, first of all, I was not expecting him to start rapping. Okay, that 
that was something new. You came on this bitch different, different. I was not expecting that from you. I'm going to be honest. And you do have some dope-ass lines. You do have some dope punch lines as well. Um, but I always thought you would sing them. I never thought you would, like... Uh, let me hop on the let me hop on this rapping shit. But it will make sense for you to do a song with sugar and rap. You know what I'm saying? It it it. I don't know. It only made it right. You feel me? But yeah, th this is different. I like this. I like how he he switch he switches something up. You feel me? This song when this song come out, I'm about to check after. <laughs> So it seems as if that song came out a year ago. I thought it came out, um, like earlier this year. But yeah, um, now even though that may have been a vibe, he kind of came for us. Well, he came for me, you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> he was saying some really, uh, I don't know, man. Sugar's just, a he, he just say deep shit all the time, you know what I'm saying? So that's what you have to expect. Um, and then the thing about it is, if you don't read the lyrics, you won't even know that he's saying deep shit. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, when it comes up to the lyrics, you gotta pay attention to the lyrics because you really wouldn't know anything. Um, he, they came in with this, this positive vibe just a cool melody but he was still tearing that shit up to shreds and then my boy jimmy very unexpected you know what i'm saying then he did pretty good as well that's 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 the amazing part and then he he only rapped for a minute just to just to be like here's sugar I'll, I'll, okay you know I'll, I'll rap for you and then he went back to his singing you feel me <laughs> um i can I, I can see that now exactly how that went in the studio sugar was like jimmy come uh, rap for like rap for me i'll, I'll pay you like 30 dollars he was like, all right, fine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, man. That, I w that, that was nice. I actually enjoyed that. Y'all let me know if y'all if y'all enjoy um, them lyric videos on 5 one lyric videos. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing this, so I don't know how y'all really felt about it. But at the same time, like I said, y'all come for the, y'all really come for the, the reaction. You know, if there's no music video, you can't really do nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Um, like I said before in the beginning, I hope y'all did enjoy. Like I said in the beginning, <laughs> drop a like, comment in the comment section box below, subscribe if you're new, enjoy the content, share the video as well. 100k giveaway, share the video because it, 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 oh, if y'all mess with my reactions, I know the next group people will. And but yeah, this is YUSMB, always my two-star broski, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.